let me start by apologizing for my inability to personally appear before you last week Thursday. Uh, it was entirely due to reasons beyond my control. Let me also appreciate the leadership of the House of Representatives for initiating this interactive forum. Distinguished members, the Nigerian Air Force has consistently carried out its responsibilities and ensured its mandate is upheld since its establishment in 1964. I'm sure you are also aware that our security environment remains fluid and unpredictable due to threats posed by terrorists, insurgents, and other criminal elements. Now, in furtherance of efforts of the armed forces to tackle these challenges, the Nigerian Air Force has continued to conduct independent and joint operations aimed at decimating these criminal elements. This has been achieved from January to November this year through 24,795 sorties with over again 27,769 hours flown while consuming 15,864,000 liters of jet E1 aviation fuel. Now, this brief will apprise the distinguished members of this House with the progress being made by the Nigerian Air Force operations in curbing these threats, as well as the challenges that we encounter and suggested ways forward, starting with the progress. Now, in efforts in towards addressing activities of insurgents and other criminal elements, the Nigerian Air Force embarked on a wide range of intensive air operations aimed at not only decimating the criminals and denying them freedom of action, but also shaping the operational environment in the various status of, of operations for successful ground offensives. The Nigerian Air Force is currently involved in seven different theaters of operations across the country. And I will talk briefly on these theaters, uh, one after the other, starting with the, the Joint Task Force Operation Harding Kay. The Air Component Operation Harding Kay has continued to conduct joint air operations with the land component and the multinational joint task force to deny the terrorists freedom of action and degrade their capability to conduct attacks against soft targets and own troops. Order, order, order please. Within the operation, soft operations such as Operation Desert and Lake Sanity, Operation Mountain Sanity and Operation Waroon were initiated to degrade the terrorist capability and enable ground troops to exploit the environment in order to restore peace around the troubled areas. Now, through these efforts, key terrorist leaders and their foot soldiers have been neutralized, with many surrendering till date. Next is Operation Hadar Indaji. Now, this operation is primarily tasked with the conduct of air operations to annihilate terrorists and combat criminal activities such as cattle rustling, kidnapping, violent attacks, and other acts of criminalities within the joint operations areas covering Katsina, Zamfara, Sokoto, Akebi states. Now, in line with its mandate, the Air Component has con conducted several operations in coordination with the land forces, which has led to the elimination of some of the prominent terrorist kingpins. Now a look at Operation Well Punch. Operation Well Punch is an amalgamation of Operation Thunder Strike in Kaduna and Operation Gamma Eki in Niger State. In Niger State, and an increase in the span of control 
that included Kogi, Kogi State and the Federal Capital Territory. Though terrorists and bandits operating mainly around Kaduna and Niger states have been very fluid in view of the large expanse of ungoverned spaces within both states, the air components had conducted series of operations within its joint operations area with positive consequences within the areas of responsibility. Operation Well Stroke. The mandate of Operation Well Stroke covering Benue, Nasarawa, and Taraba states is to end the incessant killings of innocent citizens by armed headers, militia groups, and other criminal elements. This has been largely achieved through deployment of troops Order. in patrol, Order, please. patrol bases, conduct of Reiki, fighting patrols, raids, and destruction of identified armed militia camps, hideouts, and leading to the arrest of several militias and neutralizing several bandits. Operation Delta Safe. Now, Operation Delta Safe was established to curtail the menace of illegal bunkering of oil, pipeline vandalism within the Niger Delta region. And the Nigerian Air Force was tasked to conduct appropriate air operations in support of the land and maritime components. The Nigerian Air Force has also deployed over 400 Special Forces personnel in addition to the air efforts, thereby leading to the destruction of numerous illegal oil refining sites. Now, last but not the least of the operations is Operation Udoka 2. Now, recent calls by the IPOB was it at home in the southeast led to the review of escalating security and insecurity in the region. And consequently, estimative intelligence demanded greater unity of ongoing collective efforts towards containing the activities of the separatist groups such as the indigenous peoples of Biafra and Eastern Security Network as well as other criminal elements in the zone. Accordingly, Operation Udoka 2 was activated to serve as a precursor activity to shape security situation in the region within a four-month estimate ending by 30th of this month, November 2023. Now, since its activation, the operation has recorded considerable success through continuous air operations conducted against IPOB and Easter Security Network. Now, a look at some of the challenges that we face uh, in the conduct of our operations currently. These uh, include the rising cost of aviation fuel. Uh, you, as you are aware, the budget was predicated on about 365 naira to one liter of aviation fuel. But right now, uh, as of today, the cost of aviation fuel is about 1,000 and uh, 150 naira. So that has created a lot of uh, challenges for us because we can only operate when uh, we can fuel the airplanes. Another challenge that we have faced is delays in release of funding for procurement. Honorable Speaker, 